Hey everyone, we're all rested up from our uh, travel day yesterday. We had a little bit of stress with one of our flights being canceled. Um, that one was in Santorini. So we had some trouble getting to Athens and then to Germany, but we eventually made it. Uh, got some rest and uh, now we're ready to go. We picked up a rental car. Uh, we got that one right behind me. Uh, a lot bigger than we thought it would be. We thought we were going to get a compact car, but that one's more of an SUV kind of look. Uh, so we'll take it. Very nice. Got the navigation. And so it's going to lead us through four weeks of uh, Europe. We're going to first head to Liechtenstein and then go through Switzerland, Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, uh, up to Austria, and then we'll make our way back into Germany. Uh, so next stop, Liechtenstein. We're actually staying at a place on the border in Switzerland, and then we'll make our way into Liechtenstein. Uh, so here we go, and we're on our way. All right, guys, we've made it to Buchs, Switzerland, which is on the border near uh, Liechtenstein. Um, got welcomed by our Airbnb host, Bridget, who welcomed us in. Uh, very nice place. Um, and she gave us coffee and tea, uh, food, fruit. Uh, so we really enjoyed that. Got to talk to her, uh, learn about her and uh, where she grew up and uh, what she liked about this area. And so she's given us um, some tips to go into Verdenburg, which is a city uh, just to the west of Buchs. Uh, it's about a 25 minute walk and it's got a lot of history, she says, uh, very scenic, uh, a lot of restaurants too where we can eat. And so we're gonna go check that out and uh, see what that's all about. So uh, we'll see you there. All right, guys, we've made it to the city center of Wittenberg, and some quick notes here. Uh, it is the smallest town in all of Europe. Um, has only about two streets, uh, and it's a very medieval town. Uh, so we're exploring it. There's a little bit of a castle behind me. Uh, if you can see, we're gonna go check that out and continue on, but this is a pretty neat town. Good morning from Vaduz Liechtenstein. Uh, we had a wonderful morning. We got to wake up, have some good breakfast by our hosts. Uh, it was great to get to know them a little bit better. We talked to them, learned about their upbringing and their culture. And uh, now we're here in the small country of Liechtenstein. And while it's small, there are plenty of things to do. We're going to explore downtown Vaduz and uh, also see the Vaduz Castle, which should be pretty neat and gives a good view of Liechtenstein. Then we're going to head about 10 minutes south to the border of Liechtenstein, that's how small it is, to Balzers and see the Gutenberg Castle. So that should be pretty neat too. And then to end it all off, um, we're going to head into uh, Switzerland, into Mainfeld, and the movie Heidi. Um, I'm not sure if many of you have heard of it. I haven't, but my wife has, and I'm sure her parents have. There's a movie called Heidi. Uh, the girl in that movie, she was born in Mainfeld, and it's supposed to be very pretty um, and a really kind of quaint town to see. So we're gonna do that to top it all off. So I uh, hope you follow along.
All right, guys, our time here in Liechtenstein and the bordering areas of Switzerland has come to an end. Uh, we saw a lot of great things this morning in Liechtenstein. We went to Vaduz, which is the capital, um, and saw the downtown area. There's a lot of artwork there, um, and just a really neat area to go. We also went to the Vaduz Castle, and uh, you kind of got to see an overlook of Liechtenstein, and that was really neat too. It was a little bit different than the castle we saw in Germany. Uh, but just a really neat area. And then we went 10 minutes south to Balzers and saw the Gutenberg Castle. Uh, and again, another unique castle that we had not really seen before. Uh, we really liked Liechtenstein. There weren't a lot of people or a lot of tourism, and we mean that in a good way. Uh, it's not too crowded, but there's still a lot to do, and it's really neat. The, the Alps around here just surround the area, and it's breathtaking, and it's great to take in, and so we love that. Uh, we're now here on the Switzerland side of things in Mayenfeld, and this is home to Heidi Hof, um, the movie Heidi and the book. Heidi, uh, take place here. And so this is a pretty big place. Uh, Terry and I, we admit that we have not seen the movie or the book, but for those who have, uh, we hope you appreciate the footage. Uh, but we realize we have a book to read and, uh, and a movie to see, but they make it a big deal here. They have a whole souvenir shop uh, full of Heidi dolls and souvenirs, and the whole town from where the movie was shot is here, and you can go hike up into the mountains um, and see Heidi's place in the Alps. From here, we continue on to Zurich, uh, which is about an hour and a half away, and that's where we'll continue the adventure. So we'll see you when we get there.